Hey, what's up guys? Chad here from Grayscale Gorilla. You guys have been asking me to make an Aces and Octane video for a while now. Well, I finally did it. It's right here, under five minutes. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go. Hey, what's going on everybody? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get started with Aces in Octane. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. So we've got a render going here with our lights kind of blowing out and our garishly bright wood background here. We got some surface imperfections from Grayscale Gorilla Plus over here. So let's go ahead and get some aces going. Let's go into our render settings here and we're going to jump into the settings color management. And this is where you want to load in your open color IO config file. By the way, I got to give a shout out to Silverwing Raf Rao for showing me this method. Without him, I probably wouldn't have been able to figure this out as easily. So thanks a lot, Raf. Uh, okay. So once you've downloaded your open color IO config file, I'll throw a link down below on where you can grab that. You're going to want to set your intermediate color space to Octane Aces 2065-1. You're then going to want to set your open color I.O. default uh, over to the default, which is going to be Aces 2065-1. Once that's done, you can head over to the camera imager, making sure you don't have any LUTs going, so that'll mess things up if you do. Uh, go over to open color I.O., and we're going to choose our view to be uh, Aces sRGB. Boom, done. We're not going to mess with any of the other stuff. So with that done, we can now fly into our Octane Live Viewer and switch our color space here from uh, HDR sRGB to Open Color IO, and boom, we're in Aces. We're getting the nice, the nice fall offs, the beautiful look that everybody loves. I love it. Uh, and there you go. You don't have to do anything with IDTs because of Octane spectral nature. All of that color data is being transferred into Aces for you. Uh, so that's really all there is to it. The only other thing I'll say is if you jump into the render settings here, if you're going to output in ACES, you're going to want to render out an EXR, linear EXR, and you're going to want to change under the main tab of the Octane render settings. Color space is going to default to sRGB. You want to change this to ACES CG, and then it's going to match, match your output right there. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think I did it in under five minutes. That's kind of crazy. But now we have the beautiful control of aces. Uh, we have our highlights that, that you know, blow out nicely. Nice little uh, saturation fall off here. It just looks so great. Aces just makes everything look good. So if you want to output a 8-bit file with the look of aces baked into it, meaning you don't want to take it into Fusion, After Effects, Nuke, whatever, and do the whole aces thing, you can do that just by opening up the settings, go into buffer type, choose LDR, and choose open color IO config at the bottom here for your color space. And make sure that you choose right here, it's gonna click and you can kind of come down and say output sRGB. And now this is gonna be baked into your PNG, JPEG, whatever. And also one more thing, man, so many little things. Okay, um, you're gonna notice when you send this to the picture viewer and you actually render it out, let's go ahead and just do that really quick. Uh, we'll hit cancel that it, it's going to look wrong and that's totally fine and just you know ignore that if you're using the uh the exr non-baked in look version just know that you know the picture viewer is not going to show it to you the right way but if you're doing an ldr version it should show it to you the correct way um all right that's it let's see if we still made it under five minutes once again silverwing hooked me up with that tip thanks again oh also got to give a shout out to dino for his help in figuring out the aces workflow as well uh, anyway, so hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, hit me in the comments. Make sure you subscribe and check out all the other awesome videos. I got some other Aces stuff going. Uh, you can check those out too. I've got an Aces kind of run through of the benefits and whatnot. So I'll see you next time. Hey, welcome back everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, Aces is something that I've, I'm pretty passionate about. I've been working in it for about a year now. Uh, I've made videos, check out the other videos that we've made about Aces, but yeah, Octane is really simple. It's actually really, really easy. So I've been using it a lot since I started using Octane again. So hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.